Good evening everyone and welcome back to Christmas with the Mill and Gordons 2023. I have lost count of how many years I have been doing Vlogmas now. It feels so, so exciting and strange every year that this rolls around and I have honestly, like, I have loved, loved, loved um, the extra vlogging that comes with this time of year and the extra videos, the festivities, all of that kind of stuff. You know, I very, very much enjoy the change of the seasons, especially this time of year. I think it was this time of year that actually taught me how much I enjoyed celebrating the seasonality of life. And um, I've now thread that through the rest of my content, my life, my home, everything, even down to my outfits, those kinds of things. But there comes a point when things maybe need just a little bit of a change, maybe just for a short amount of time. And I do just want to let you know that whilst I'm still going to be doing my Christmas with the Mill and Gordons introductions and I'm going to be doing my absolute best to keep things festive and show you what we're getting up to. I am actually not going to be increasing the volume of videos in December. I have decided to continue vlogging. I'll vlog as normal. My last vlog will be the 21st of December this year. Um, it's not been the easiest of decisions to make, but I think that with the last few months with launching Evergreen and just kind of plowing everything into that, I decided that this would be the year where I just take my foot off the gas just a little bit. And it was funny actually, because um, someone recently asked me a question. Well, they, they told me about a podcast where this question was asked. And it was basically like, do you wanna be Tom or do you wanna be Mark? And it was a thought process that Tom is obviously Tom from MySpace, who built up his business, built up MySpace into this lovely place. He was everyone's friend and blah, 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 blah. And then he sold it for a good amount of money and now he travels the world and I think he posts about it online and he lives a really, really good life. Then you have Mark Zuckerberg, who is obviously blamed for a lot of things, uh, the downfall of society. There's a lot of, um, he's in court all of the time. He's obviously striving to be the best and the biggest and what have you. And um, I think that that was a really important question about what I wanted from life. And I think that I love doing Vlogmas so much, but I think I've been running on, on empty up until this point. My God, I feel quite sad. <laughs> but I, I feel like I've been running on empty up until this point and I love Christmas and I often feel like some of the time I might put making my vlogs extra special um, above my own enjoyment as well and I want to really find a happy medium with that so that I'm enjoying it and you guys are enjoying it and it's also not compromising on the types of videos that I'm putting out as well. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna do Vlogmas again in the future, I think generally, I just want to enjoy this Christmas. I want to enjoy it with Ali. I want to enjoy it with my family. I want to see my mum. I want to see my nonna. I want to see my grandma. I want to see my nephews and my nieces. And I don't want to be feeling like I have to shove a camera in their face the moment that I'm with them in order to create the content. And I think that's really the crux of everything that I just want this to be a bit more, I don't know, I want to relax a little, I think, and come back next year and just be fighting fit, have a little bit more structure perhaps, and just be better. And I think that you guys will probably appreciate it. And I think I will definitely appreciate it. And I think only good can come of this. And there is so much content that goes out around this time of year. So many people do Vlogmas. There are so many incredible channels that you can watch and enjoy and, and consume their content. However, I kind of hope that you do a little bit more of what I'm intending on doing and instead of sitting and watching my videos and sitting on the internet and scrolling, I kind of hope that you spend lots of time with people that you love and lots of time with your families and lots of time taking care of yourself because this gets overwhelming at this time of year for everyone. It is busy, whether you're working in Tesco's, whether you're working in, you know, I was gonna say Topshop, but Topshop doesn't exist anymore, but I remember my Christmases at Topshop, okay? And my gosh, I used to leave work and cry 
And so anyone that is in retail at this time of year, be kind to yourself, spend time with people that you love, spend time looking after yourself and just look look out for you and your family in this time and I think that I just hope that you're going to do that more than anything and that's also a huge factor as to why I'm doing this. I, I don't like the thought of me creating content that brings you back to my channel when you should be with people that you love. <laughs> so hopefully my normal two videos a week will just give you, I don't know, something to watch um, if you're still sort of working in the run up to Christmas. Um, if you're having some downtime in front of the TV and I promise I'm going to do my absolute best to include you in all of the stuff and you won't miss anything, I hope. Um, I'm, I'm still going to vlog lots and they might even be longer vlogs, but not too long. And if I have any extra videos, I will put them up, but for the most part, I just want you all to have a really lovely Christmas and so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, also, our Christmas um, intro, like I mentioned earlier, I it's been it's been hard this year we haven't had the normal uh crisp bright mornings that Ali and I depend so heavily on for our Christmas um intros and um but it's not about that and especially like it's put my feelings around the seasons and um this time of year I've had to really like check myself and make myself feel extra Christmassy because it's not felt that Christmassy outside. Next week it's looking like it is, so we've got nothing to worry about, but in the run up to this and in, in the content creation, I always like it to be quite sparkly and frosty and we've just not had that yet. However, again, I just kind of focus on the things that I love and curating that into one video. Um, I'll let the dogs in. <laughs> Speaking of things I love. <laughs> um, sorry, Barkley's still outside. Um, <clears throat> but yes, our Christmas introduction was um, a challenge this year. It's taken us many days to capture the content and get everything in. And um, that's taken it out of us as well. Not to mention I've obviously been unwell. Then I ended up going like just having a bit of a moment and going to the emergency whatever um so i just kind of wanted to cu curate everything that i loved into my um introduction this year do i think it's been our most beautiful piece of work i don't know but i said to ali i was like in all honesty i don't care about it being beautiful i care about the things that i love being in that video <laughs> And that's what I've got to show you. And so the concept was, I was kind of taking you into my evergreen world and you were seeing all of the things that bring me more joy because obviously Evergreen is a book that I've written about curating more joy in your life. And so I wanted to show you a little bit more of that. Um, I know lots of you love those um, in introductions and you, I know some of you probably don't care either and I'm making such a big deal out of this and I've probably put way too much pressure on myself for this. Um, but I do hope that you enjoy it and um, I hope that maybe it'll inspire you in some ways about how to spend the next few weeks. I just wanted to let you know, Ali was like, you know, you don't need to tell them, just, just upload what you upload. But I know that I've done this for many years and this has not been a, a decision that I've taken lightly. And it really makes me want to cry because it feels like an end of an era. But it is still gonna be Christmassy. It is still going to be like festive and, um, I'm still gonna be sharing all of the things that I love with you about this time of year, but I really just want to, I don't know why I'm crying, <laughs> but I really just want to spend time with my family and enjoy it and um, be a bit selfish, I think. So without further ado, without making, I promise you, it's not gonna be miserable over Christmas, but without further ado, um, I would like to show you our 2023 Christmas introduction and I will be seeing you for Christmas with the Mill and Gordons on Mondays at 5 p.m. UK time and Thursdays 5 p.m. UK time. I promise if I have any extra videos I will put them up, up anyway um, but now I am going to head because I have a dentist appointment. So now it's time to decorate my kitchen and do our tablescape. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm 
not wasting any dreams this Christmas. I've made my wish upon that star. The only dream of which my list consists is to always be wherever. Yeah, there will be no praying for the snow to fall. It would not make a difference to me at all. No, I'm not wasting any dreams. This Christmas, I've made my wish, and it came. I like to think in my own self-imposed way the most anticipated vlog of the year. It is my Christmas decorating vlog. I get incredibly excited about it and when it actually does roll around I just feel like a child at Christmas again because this is where I tend to inject that real Christmas spirit into my home, give it that warm cozy Christmas feeling and it's so much fun coming up with the ideas, brainstorming with Gemma, understanding what she's doing, incorporating that into like my decor, thinking of different things as well, and just having fun with the existing interiors of my home and just dressing it up a little bit differently. So for me, this is a video that I look forward to, and it's kind of what set off my love affair with decorating throughout the seasons. When I joined those dots of like, oh, I really look forward to this video every year and doing this in my home every year. Why don't I find a way to sprinkle a little bit of that throughout the year and enjoy it? And I feel like it doesn't ever feel monotonous because there's enough time between each time that I do it. Does that make sense? Like every season I get excited for the next season and I'm 35 years old now and I still get excited for every new season so I still get excited for every new decorating escapade that happens in this house and this year is no different in fact I think I'm more excited this year than ever before because it's like, it's like this realization that that's how I feel and so I get even more excited because I've understood that it really does bring me so much joy to do this and to work with Gemma in this way as well because I think what Gemma's doing is fantastic and she always has such incredible ideas as well and you will be pleased to know that I do believe we will be leaving the hops here as well there is every so often okay there is something that we introduce into the decor scheme and this sunlight is like intense I can't actually get away from it Every so often there is a piece of decor that we introduce into this home and it works so well that you can't change it because it's just like it was always meant to be there. And that's the aim with everything, but obviously with Christmas you have to change it out because it would be weird to still have your Christmas tree up in June. Um, but I think that the hops for me are a seasonless um, addition to the kitchen. I think it made, instantly made it feel so cosy instantly made it feel a little bit more like characterful if that is even a word and yeah I think it just works the moment that the Christmas tree went up I actually think the galvanized bucket helped communicate that rustic feeling even more with the Christmas tree so I think that works so well so they are going to be staying the same with things like pheasant feathers they've become a bit of a constant and um, a bit of a staple in my decor which for me is really great because they're so reusable and you can always find like beautiful additions um, out in nature as well some of my favorite pheasant feathers have been literally found as we are on dog walks in nature so I am actually being the worst 
wing woman to Gemma today as usual because she is unloading everything in the hallway which is my favourite part because I get to see everything but I'm going to go and show you what we have planned and I'm very much looking forward to it and we're, we're doing it really well this year because we are you going in the defender? Yes, I'm taking it garden afterwards, aren't I? Oh right, very smart to be going gardening my love. Yeah. Mr. Barky McBarkerson. That's not Barky. No, he <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, that Literal is definitely Barty McBarkerson. So, this is now going to royally rub Mr. Mill and Gordon up the wrong way, but you didn't do the lights yesterday, did you? What lights? On the outside Christmas decorations. No, when are you doing those? Um, might be able to do them later or tomorrow. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've got tomorrow, so that's fine. So yes, it is actually going to be a two-day install. <laughs> Even though you are very barky. This <laughs> yes, so we're actually doing a two-day install. We're taking it very, very easy, just um, enjoying the process, not rushing, and um, it should be really, really good. So I think we'll probably start with tackling the kitchen because that's always one of my favourites. It's just the place that people naturally gravitate to in any home and I think that that's very exciting for me. Um, I'll link all of the pieces that you are able to buy on Hello Petal in the description box down below and I'll highlight any throughout the video because I think it's nice for you guys to be able to buy little bits and pieces. I know that obviously not everyone decorates their home in this way, not everyone is that little bit extra like me, um, but if you wanted a little piece of it just to refresh a space in your home, I think this is such a lovely way to do it. Especially when things are potted, they last forever. I always prefer potted plants over um, bunches of flowers, just purely because they last so much longer. I think the beauty of a bunch of flowers is unparalleled, but pots that just stay alive and keep that um, liveness in your home is pretty special too. So other than that, I also use this as a great opportunity to declutter spaces as well. As with any home, you tend to accumulate a lot of stuff on surfaces in places around your home. And so I always go in first and do a deep cleanse of the kitchen, the living room, whatever and um, remove everything so that you get a real clean slate as well. So yes, anyway, I'm gonna show you what's arriving in the hallway and oh, ho, ho. Oh, my goodness me. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. This is gorgeous. <gasps> Beautiful little centerpiece there. Oh wow, these are new. These little pine cones on them. So these are the roses that I was talking about that were in my uh, wedding bouquet. We've got lots of moss, lots of florals. Oh my God, there's more over here. Oh my goodness, more moss. Ooh, I like the look of this. Oh, that's just to put gravel in. Oh wow, that's lovely. I love it, you're so dedicated to the, oh wait, was I not supposed to show this bit? This is the ugly bit. Okay, I don't show you this bit. <laughs> Oh, wow. <gasps> Is that the re? Yeah. Like it. Oh. My. Gosh. I love that so much. I do see. Oh, wow. Gemma. That is, I think this is my favourite one. Yes. Yay. I thought you'd like it. Oh, I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love that. It's I like took a... one for the team end, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Did it hurt? No. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Welcome back to the Christmas vlogs, Gemma. Sorry. I always get so excited that I'm like, hi, Gemma's here. She's also a beautiful silhouette in the doorway. Um, this wreath aged spectacularly. Like, do you remember this was all green? And it went this wonderful. I can't even remember. Yeah, this was. So it was, isn't it? Yeah. It was really oak. So it was, it was this wonderful shade of green and then. I just kind of looked one day and it had gone beautiful and like amber. But I was like, I actually think it looked so beautiful. That was like the dream that it did that because it just Perfect. went with the seasons. So I loved it. But we are going to try the new wreath, which is going. the most wild and wonderful I think I've ever seen. Goodness me. So first things first, the cherry on the cake. So are you going to be selling these? I think so. I <gasps> They take a long time to make. So they're more expensive. So they're more expensive. So I don't know whether to put it on the website and if you want to order, you can, or whether you just, if you really want one, 
contact me. Okay, let's do, uh, yeah, do it that way. You maybe do the made to order or something. Yes, I think it would be a more of a made to order because we have obviously our wreath kits on there. But yeah. these, they just take such, yeah, such a long time. Oh, wow. Oh but. my goodness me. Oh, I love it Ooh. so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. I feel like it could take a ribbon, you yeah, know? Yeah, I do too. The burg I've got loads yeah, of burgundy ribbon. Yeah. We can do that once we've done everything else. Yeah. If we look at it and we think, yeah, it still needs a ribbon, we can do that. But I think this is so gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so much. You're more than oh, oh, I love this. So we haven't, like, we, we've wasted an entire hour chatting before we've even started. Um, and Gemma is just showing me all of the different ribbons. ribbons. Yeah, so she's going to be selling ribbons on her website. So if you want any of these ribbons I'm about to show you, um, I'll link them down below as well. But I know full well we're going to end up using your ribbons, aren't we? Well, I do have this one. Oh! But I've only got one really. No, but I don't think that that's a bad thing because I think maybe that's a bit red for me. I need to see it without the plastic on. But anyway, she has this wonderful burgundy ribbon as well. She has this little thin black watch. Um, and what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a tablescape um, tutorial to help you with styling your Christmas table. And Gemma's had a really wonderful idea where she's actually going to be selling is it in two tiers? So two different price points? Yes. Yes, yeah. yeah, so there'll be two tiers. Two tiers of price points. Two tiers of price points. So you'll have the top tier and the bottom tier, and you can sort of choose whichever suits your budget. I think we're probably going to be using the top tier bu budget one today. Oh, no, we're getting really budget. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> Bougie on a budget. Well, I love that. But I loved, I said to her, I was like, this is so genius because if she can start doing this more often throughout the seasons, I said to her, I was like, there would be times when I just don't even message you and I'll be like, I'll just buy what you've got because I always have like friends coming over last minute and I want to do a tablescape, don't have time to get out, this is genius. So we're gonna show you how to put these tablescape kits together and again, I'll link them down below. So, what are we doing? <laughs> So I've said that we're going to start in the kitchen and get the tree done and then do the tablescape. So I think I'm just get on. Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm fluffing the tree. Let me show you what tree fluffing looks like. <laughs> Probably going to get a lot of my bottom in your face. But I would say that this always makes a huge difference to how the tree looks. Just gets rid of any sparse areas and makes it look a little bit more fluffy. What I'll do is I'll start here. Yeah. And then you can do this side. Okay. I'll start, probably start from the top, that's right. Yeah. I'll let you know when I've got to the top on one side. Gemma is on ribbon duty and the burgundy is looking spectacular. Oh, I am going to get started on some decorations, I think. Although Gemma might hate me doing that. <laughs> I stay away from my tree. Triangle technique, and you'll be fine. Triangle technique, okay. So I think I've got these as well. So I think I'm going to put these on first. Because I women love these. Oh yeah, I like those too. Yeah. So going in first with the Dalesford wicker baubles, which are ridiculously expensive. So I only bought a couple. You bought in? No. <laughs> that, that, that's just a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. How did you buy? Six. <laughs> Is that because they were already sustainable? Well, I tend to buy either six or eight, but because they were more expensive, I the, the more expensive ones I generally buy less, yes. so I get sixes. Are you okay, Bobby? So when you say triangle, so you need to do, say if you have that one there, mm -hmm. and then there needs to then be one there and there. But can I spread it out more because there's only six of them? Yeah. So can I do like one there? Big triangles. Okay, big yeah. triangles. Oh, sorry, Kitty. Because I think we put a bit of like a, you know, like a long billowy ribbon in the burgundy just like on the Yeah, they pin it on but we can make it look like it's tied into it. Yeah. And then it will just sort of connect it then. Yeah. But I might be being a bit weird. No, I agree. Do you Yeah. You are. Yeah. Really? Just the two of you? Or yeah, that's the animals. Oh, nice to do that again. Yeah, yeah, honestly, you love it? Absolutely love it. Honestly, like, I, I don't think we'll spend Christmas differently. Yeah. So what did you do? You wake up? We wake up. We have, like, a lot of traditions with it. Like, wake up, have scrambled eggs and salmon, mm. or um, a posh bacon butter, even yeah. cranberry sauce. We might do it with brie this year. Mm. 
Champagne and strawberries. Champagne, yeah. Lovely. Then we're obviously in our Christmas day pajamas as well. Yeah. And do you um, get dressed? Yes, then we get dressed. So once we do well, once we open Christmas presents, then we get dressed. And um, once we dress, probably start prepping things for the dinner. Mm -hmm. Lounge on the um, sofa a bit, drink champagne, play Christmas music. Then we have the festive sausage roll. What? Festive sausage roll. What do you mean? Well, Ali's family always did festive sausage rolls as a snack in between. Like homemade sausage rolls. They all order it, but it's like from, it's part of Waitrose like Christmas menu. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, it's like a wreath, the Christmas sausage roll wreath. I um, love a sausage roll. Yeah, oh. it's, it's honestly the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. And we have that as like a snack. Yeah. And then we'll obviously play Christmas music, start making Christmas uh, lunch, watch Christmas films, play with the animals. Yeah. We just have the best time ever. That does sound really nice. And I plan to um, go to, we want to go to the pub, our local pub's lovely. Lovely. Go to the pub for a, just a drink. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. we used to do that as kids. Yeah. Like, we'll go to the local village pub on Christmas Day and everyone's like, Ooh. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I just plan to eat and drink and, and then my mum will be merry. And I think my mum actually is going to go home on Christmas Eve and they're going to say um, Christmas Eve. And then I think they're going to go home, so it'd be quite nice just for me and Ian. These are the Christmas decorations that I'm using from last year. So I've always loved these like antique brass little baubles that I got from the local garden centre. Just a lot of warmer tones, a lot of natural textures as usual. I won't be using the green this year. I think we had a bit of green on the tree. Um, but this is where we are currently at. I've gone straight in with the Dalesford wicker baubles, which actually really add a nice touch. And then ribbon is done. Is that the ribbon done? Nearly just one more. One more ribbon to go in. And then it's all of the decorations. Um, okay, things are starting to come together and it actually feels so different. I'm over the moon, but still in, in the normal theme of this space. I always want it to have that woodland element to it. And we're still using, like I said, so many of the other um, decorations that we already had. But just changing up the ribbon. I do think... I'm gonna get some burlap and see what it looks like. It's coming together. Gosh, gosh, gosh. We're now going in with the very important pheasant feathers and Gemma of Hello Petal has spoken and I thought that this would be quite a handy tip for you guys in terms of putting these into the tree and making them look their best. What she says is that you need to make them look as if they're coming from the trunk of the tree. So push them in at an angle yeah. and don't have them sort of like sticking out at all different angles. <laughs> Um, really focus on like pushing it in downwards as if, as if it was coming out like a branch. You see? Like so. Probably ruining it. Oh, I love it. The first Christmas tree is done, but, well, it's almost done. Ali is out getting some burlap, some thinner burlap ribbon, just to make the tree a little bit more sort of rustic. Um, so he's hopping, popping to Hobbycraft for that, but um, it's, it just looks so lovely. I love the burgundy. And we've not gone overboard this year with decorations. I think less is more. Is more. Look at that naughty sausage. Get your schnoot out of there. <laughs> I wasn't doing it, mummy. I wasn't completely innocent. Right, we are in the living room now. We were going to do the tablescape, but I actually think that because of this sunlight, you're not going to be able to see it that well. So we're going to do this Christmas tree. And this tree, we're sort of playing around with a little bit because... Um, Usually I would do the black watch in here because it works so well. However, we were going to do a red tartan this year with green in it. Do you mind, Porter? Nobody loves Christmas more than Porty. That is not one of your balls. No. Um, however, I opened up this basket that I packed away last year with all of my green baubles and absolutely not, my love. I know I gave you one of these to tear apart last year, but not the good boy um and I don't know whether because I just love the way these fabrics porter <laughs> off my love these I love the way these green fabrics look in here 
I think what we're gonna do is try the ribbon first, see how it looks, but if not, we're gonna try something else basically. So it's sort of seeing how this goes, as long as Porter doesn't cause too much carnage. Yes. Bucky being a good boy, as usual. I already like it against the black. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, so I know nice. I suggested it, and like, oh, sorry, that was, sounded like I was taking credit for them. Um, I know. Listen, I like, okay. <laughs> Don't steal my thunder. No. You did it with the green last year. I did, yeah. Um, oh, there yeah. is a bathroom one red, by the way. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. I've got more rolls as well. Look okay. But I'm sort of like, what blooming tree ornaments? Green. You think green? Yeah. Because these are like different greens, aren't they? These are like, that's like a deep. Oh, no, I didn't. But I, what, with this? Yeah. Because you wouldn't go red. No, 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 but I feel like when I stand back, the green almost looks blue. Mm. Okay. These ones can go yeah. on, because these are just like, and we could just go for the, the, for the rustic-y. That the rusty, yeah, they look nice. This works on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Yeah, these yeah. work yeah. really well, but I'll let you do the ribbon first, yeah. ignore me. I do also have things like this, which I kept, that are a bit, like, icier. Yeah. Which... I reckon the horse is thinking, well, no, it's Once, the right one. Yeah. yeah. Listen to the moment, they do. Let's put it in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the twigs, though, aren't we? Oh, we're living in the moment right now, Lydia. We're just doing the ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we are. Yes, we are doing the twigs. Okay, good. <laughs> and these ones have gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living in the moment. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, these champagne ones yeah. would be nice. A bit more traditional. A bit more traditional. I'm quite excited by this. Yeah, it feels different, doesn't it? Where did you get this from from? Amazon. It looks so rubbish in the image that they yeah. use. And I was like, but one of the images that they were used, they, that they had on there, yeah. it looked darker. And I, I was like, I'm just going to see what they arrive like. Mm -hmm. And it arrived like that. And I was like, actually, this is really good. Yeah, it is nice. What do you think? So far? Okay. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Ali wasn't sure, but I think he's going to like it. Okay. Sometimes he takes a little bit of education. Well, sometimes they can't see the vision, can they? No. I think that's enough, don't you? Yeah. Warbles, the plasticky yeah. ones. Yeah, let me get more of them out for you. Oh, is there more? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really lovely on there because it feels more traditional, so these ones will be oh, really yeah, nice. Those, yeah. Ooh. I love it. Um, oh my gosh, I think he got a bauble. Oh no, not a nice one. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Porter! Is that the one I just gave you? No, I put it on. So he must have taken... Oh, you little... <gasps> I was just saying to Gemma how expensive these baubles were. I remember they were like... Th I think they were like 30 quid a bauble because they're real wool. And this hooligan that has been the most badly behaved sausage... Look at him. Off. No. In fact, you're going in the kitchen. No. Off. But yeah, I feel like it's really coming together in a nice, it feels so different. Absolutely love it. So what we've incorporated is the tartan red ribbon and a few baubles from, is it West of the Moon? Yeah, West of the Moon, which is an Etsy shop that I found. And then she sent me these last year, but they arrived a little bit late and I think she's done them again this year. And then just lots of antique brassy baubles. A naughty sausage dog. You might say absolutely not, Lydia. Categorically not. But is that too? I don't think that's. <laughs> I just did it in Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Fine. I, just, I, I do. Like, I like a bow if it's ribbon. Yeah. Just not the hessian. I think. Yeah. Okay. So. Overruled. Overruled. Oh. Oh. Bauble oh. oh. down. Oh my gosh. 
Well, we've got to put this one on. Yeah. Can I put the bell here? Can the bell go here? No. No? Uh, if you do it like that, yes. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, this is a hero tree. You farted, I can smell it. <laughs> you disgusting boy! <laughs> <laughs> you disgusting boy! What we're doing now is actually adding in more ribbon because what we've achieved is the, the baubles have offset the redness so well that I think we can go a bit wild with it and just feed it in. Yeah. Hon honestly, Gemma, I think that's making it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's making more of a statement out of it because all of the baubles yeah, are offsetting it. Them, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I love it. This is our unsung hero tree. <laughs> Ralph Lauren, but make it English countryside. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not having this. So Gemma was just saying to me, I'm really not sure about this thing at the top of your tree. Obviously it's not finished yet. And we may have to like oh, touch, attach the top bits um, with some wire just to make it a bit more theatrical. But I'm loving the pheasant feathers at the top of this. And Gemma, what? Pie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually, I'm so impressed with myself. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. And I actually think this will work for the other one potentially. I'm so glad I tried it. <laughs> I know, it's basically, I'm, I am completely, I'm wrong. Anything I'm gonna do is quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come around that oh, side yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've just done it. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, now you can't take critics. I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, if he doesn't love this tree, I really hope he loves this tree. As much as Does he did. like red? Well, he's. I don't think he was convinced Cause it's when he saw it. But Ali, Ali, sometimes as love as much as I love him, he's not able to envision things. That's why yeah. he leaves me to it. Yeah. But when I told him the red, he he was like, no. Oh, it looks amazing from over here. Oh my god, I love it! It's perfect! Yeah. I don't think we need anything else. No. I love it. So now, I think we definitely can do that at the top yeah. of this one. Now we are prepping for the tablescape. And so hopefully this will help you if you want to organise your own tablescape and just have one delivered ready for Christmas in putting it together like what sort of ratios you need and heights and things like that. I'm sorry, this looks so festive in here. I actually cannot cope. This is so good. But um, Gemma has just popped some candles into this planter, which I think looks really, really effective. So if maybe you're not a tablescape kind of person and you're wanting something more of like a centerpiece, two of these, one of these, depending on how big your table is, you could go for, for these in the center um, I think personally this still has that really wild and wonderful and woodland element to it but just a little bit more concentrated but now we are going to do the full shebang my gosh it literally looks like we're outside <laughs> there's so much foliage I love it and the table runner that we're using is actually a 100% linen uh, it's sort of like an oatmeal-y colour but it works really well in more neutral toned homes this is a full on tablecloth but we bunch it together to give it more of a romantic kind of paired back look so that's what we're going to be using this is just from H&M so this is a really affordable one as well and they do such good sizes and then we have an assortment of pots and the pièce de résistance the roses all good okay welcome <laughs> <laughs> right um so we're going to start off by doing the tutorial for the full tablescape yeah and I then we'll do the pots afterwards i mean i think we're gonna pot up first well, i mean these pots oh those pots yeah we'll do that after or before whichever you want to do let's pot the plants up yeah and then we'll have more space okay perfect Should we do that? yes right so the trio of skimmia skimmia so skimmia is an is an outdoor plant garden plant but it is one of those plants you can just have in for the Christmas period and then put it in the garden. So will it last through midwinter or will it just last until spring? 
inside. Yeah. And um, no, it won't, won't last. Probably, I think you'll probably get a month out of it. A month out of it. Good to know. Okay. And, and it will just droop and it just won't grow. So at that point, you think, okay, you've enjoyed it for Christmas, mm -hmm. and then you put it in the ground, and it will come back year after year and grow. And it's yeah, a really lovely, easy plant to look after. Amazing. So and these are going to go into three of these. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the hellebores. They're called hellebore the boom beauty. Mm -hmm. And you get so many flowers from the, from these, so they are also going to go in the pots Amazing. for the tablescape. And then my favourite, um, these gorgeous little Christmas trees. Oh, little baby Christmas trees! Which you know, it's Christmas, Lydia. Yes, and also really good for having a tree if you're in a small space. Yes. So if you yep. want that, that festive feeling, adding these, and if you've got like a windowsill, maybe you don't have room to have an actual tree, but you could have like a windowsill where you do a festive display. This mm. tablescape would potentially be able to yeah. just be curated onto a windowsill as well. Yeah. So that's an option if you're thinking, I don't get to have a tree. Hello? <laughs> Other sizes are available. Oh wow, yeah. you have, so you do bigger sizes? Yeah, yeah. Amazing, okay, cool. Um, and then we've got, so that's all the plants, and then we've obviously got some bud vases to fill, and we've got some beautiful little candles, and a candle kit pot to put up as well. There's three of each, yeah? Three of each. So this is more of a luxury tablescape. This is one that, you know, if you've got a really long table, you've got lots of people coming for Christmas lunch, um, it works beautifully. And then there will also be a smaller version if, you know, maybe you've just got sort of six people for Christmas or four people for Christmas, and you just want something a little bit more subtle. Gravel first. Gravel first. So you do, if you do the skimmia, yeah. I'll do the um, pebbles. Okay, amazing. And then you can do your favorite Christmas trees. Perfect. Just a handful, isn't it, really? Yeah. So whatever is in your kit, you just split it between all the pots. So the gravel is just for drainage to stop the roots sitting in water for too long. Amazing. And all of these, all three varieties of plants, all need the same care, which is to be kept damp at all times. Don't let them dry out. So just maybe give them a little bit of water all, every day? Yeah. Okay. Or, or just, but just don't let them sit in water. So if the water goes into the saucer, make sure you discard that mm -hmm. so that they don't get root rot. Okay, so now all you need to do is take them out and literally just kind of loosen the roots at the bottom. Yeah. You don't actually need any compost for these ones. No, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these over the compost so that I don't make a mess. That's why I'm messy and you're not. So then you're going to loosen your roots at the bottom. Just gently. Like that? Yeah, but probably yeah, more around that area. Oh, and right. then you can pop it in. Is that enough? Yeah. And then you just put squidge it in, it in and squidge it down. The squidge that in like that. Squidge that in, push it down, and then that's it. Amazing. And then for the head of yours, it's a similar situation, but I would probably put just a sprinkling of compost on the bottom. Okay. It's good that you're wearing white jeans, isn't it? I know. I cleaned out the chickens in white jeans the other day and everyone was very upset. But are you one of those um, people that don't get white things? I just don't think I'm that picky. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, think, I think I'm one of those people that I'm like, well, it'll, most of the time, it's very rare that something doesn't wash out. However, the other day on my favorite lily silk jumper, I must have brushed past a lily. Oh no. Yeah, I was very, very upset about that. Yeah, that's annoying. Where did come out? You stole my skimmia. Yes, sort of. <laughs> but this is very easy. So these skimmia are very easy. I'm literally just. Yeah, you're just plonking it in. Yeah, you just loosen up the bottom. Um, and what I'm going to do is once all of these are in the pots, I'm just going to scrape everything up. So with these hellebores, they're obviously very much in bud at the moment. Mm -hmm. They come out and they are insanely beautiful. Yeah, the pictures that you showed me were absolutely amazing. <coughs> I'm just going to keep doing it, even though I know we've got more to pot up. I'm just going to keep doing this just because it makes me feel better. Okay. And it makes me feel like Ali's going to be less cross with me. Okay. Do you want to moss? And I will pop these up. Okay. So with the moss, we've got the flat moss and the bun moss. I like the flat moss. Yeah, so just stick that, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, That okay. just goes around the base of the plant. Yeah, this is the one that's like the woodland floor, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we, in your kits, you'll have some moss pins. Moss pins? And these little kind of... <gasps> Like beauty blockers. Oh yeah, you go like this. I always go like oh. that. But oh. 
You won't be able to. You won't be able to see these. I'll show you up close. So you have moss pins. Ooh. These are the moss pins. I've never seen these before. So these hold them in place. Yeah. So you can use them just to push it down if you want to. You don't have to. It's like a good hairpin. So I'm just going to put the Picea or the Christmas trees in. Picea. And then just push the compost down. Apart from the um, hellebores, which are, you know, really happy indoors, especially this variety actually, um, the Picea, the Christmas trees, and the Skimia are both outdoor plants. But it's a bit like having a Christmas tree indoors over Christmas. You have them indoors for the Christmas season and then they can just happily go in the garden. So if you, with the Christmas trees, you can pop these in the garden and they will, they will be, you know, evergreen and stay green for as long as you look after them. Evergreen. Yeah. I'll link in the description <laughs> box down below. <laughs> so pretty. I like it. <laughs> Literally, whenever I see anyone mention or like call evergreen like a colour, I just want to write in the comments. Available on that answer. <laughs> Hit the link. <laughs> these actually, these moss pins are really good. Quite satisfying. Yeah. yeah. Well. So you use them usually in um, a wreath that's ah. got an oasis base. So if you're using a um, floral foam, yeah, that's what you use. So with the bun moss, mm -hmm. you can take off the root off the back, mm -hmm. so it sits a little bit more flush in the pot. Gosh, I'm going very wide this time. That's yeah, nice. Like moss. You're relaxed. Yeah. Honestly, this is the most therapeutic thing. Yeah. You just kind of zone out mm. into your own little world, don't you? Yeah. It's so lovely. I feel like this is what we should do at the end of. Um, tree decorating because it just feels like such a different experience like tree decorating is like oh my god goodness hair and then do yeah. the pots and you're like oh. ah. done yeah nice okay now do you want some twigs you will get twigs in your kit yeah do you want twigs in them in the pot yeah i think so i always really like the twigs <laughs> just think i shut this out the window don't mind me Okay, so now we're going to put the twigs in. Yeah. So do you want to do your skimmy and I'll do the hellebores? Yeah. So you've got your little bundle there. Yeah, and this is what will come in the kit. Yeah. So you've got your birch twigs and your dry thyme. And you can use um, secateurs or scissors for this, but, you know, or you can use your And how long would you say each bit should be? So I personally don't like it too long. Yeah. Um, so just slightly, I would go varying heights actually, I'd go slightly above the sort of top flower or, um, you know, on the skinny, so like an inch maybe. Yeah. And then I would do varying heights lower down than that. Okay. So they're not all the same height. It's kind of almost good to snap off these little bits. Yes. Rather than go yeah, like I think, the whole store. I think the little bits are the, are the more aesthetically pleasing bits. Can you copy mine? Yeah, I actually am. Yeah. Do you remember to your research? Yes, it's cool. <laughs> like, no, -uh. do your own work. Oh, no, battery's died. Oh, gosh, being concentrated is really tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is such hard work. And if that's left in, a caveat, I know I'm not a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so leaving that in. No, yeah. I'm joking. I would never, I'd never stitch you up like oh, that. My... Okay, so then we add the time. Dry time. Is that enough to yeah, think in terms of the twigs? Yeah. Okay. So the dry time can be shorter and can sort of fall over the plant or in amongst the plant. So I would have the birch twigs slightly higher and then the thyme lower. Slightly lower. So like, for example. Ah, okay. Well, it's hard to get the thyme in, isn't it? It doesn't really like poke in. No, but you can just sort of, you can sort of, I mean, maybe it's different. So I'm doing hellebores, but you could, um, just weave it amongst. Yeah, so maybe it doesn't like go into the soil no. so easily. Because it doesn't need, it's dry, so it doesn't need a water source. Okay. Can you do my time? Cause yeah. I, can you do that one? Cause I, just, I don't know. You do, you do your, you clean them. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> okay. My God, it's looking so wild and wonderful already. My favourite thing. 
Why aren't you wonderful? Oh, you mean this? Sorry, you've done the time. Well, no, yeah, but I didn't think it looked very good. My time, my attempt at the time. These look, do you know what? These look so much more effective now that you've done this on, on the mask. On, 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 with the mask. I yeah. think that you can look at them and you think, oh, they look a little bit sort of knobbly and, yeah. and gaudy kind yeah. of thing. But the moment that you add the moss, like they've got that little hill yeah. to them, I think that actually makes them, it looks like little, because it is, little sprouting mm -hmm. winter florals. Yeah. I love it. You've got yeah. such good vision, Gemma. You really do. Thank you. To think up these things every time. It's so good. I don't do it in my hand. No, you've got your <laughs> studio, haven't you? Well, you, what you, what you do I probably is... would it because I get to that point where I'm like, right, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's my husband true. actually said to me, he said, we need to decorate the house properly this year. Mm hmm. Told me off. Okay, so those are all potted up. Should we make them over here? Yes. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just watching you do all of it. I'm like, <laughs> can I help? <laughs> right, you, you well done. Can you, can you brush it out? Okay, do we, we don't need these anymore, do no, we? No, you can add them. If you've got any left over, you can put them in the bud vases that we're about to do. Mm -hmm. If you want. The bud vases. Oh, yeah, of course. So maybe we can put them... Let's just pop this stuff onto here okay. for now so that it's like... And then this stuff can all go in the yeah. room, can't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we late? Because so Lydia washed her hands like four hundred times. times. <laughs> so now we are doing the bug vases. Yes. So the idea is to create sort of varying heights, varying textures, um, just different focal things to look at on your Christmas table. And how do you know, <laughs> how do you know, like, do you just do it and then you see the hives? Or can you literally in your head think, I'm going to need something this high? Or do you just sort of play it by ear? So you do the potted stuff that you want yeah. and then you do the, the bud vases. Do you yeah, that again? I'd say so. But I mean, I think it depends on taste as well mm -hmm. and how wild you like things. Mm -hmm. So for example, with this bud vase, I might go sort of to this height yeah. and that will probably be as high as I'll go. But that is taking, you know, maybe that much higher than those. Yeah. But then when the hellebores grow, they'll also take over in height. So, But the bud vases might be gone by then anyway because... No, because these are going will go out probably the week before Christmas. And question, just yeah. on these ones, mm. watering them is yeah. going to be an interesting. So would you say to just water from the bottom? You could water from the bottom with those, okay. as long as they then don't sit in that water for too long. Okay. Right, so where do we start? So I would start always on the foliage base. Mm -hmm. So should we start with this? Yes. Yeah. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this up close. I'll also be selling this on the site on the website like buy a bunch. Yeah, buy because bunch. you could just stick this in yeah. a in a vase and this would be so effective because you oh, that's the thing that we realised last time we did the interview, wasn't it? That I prefer things that don't necessarily always look arranged in like big arrangements. Yeah. Um just one mm -hmm. type one of type. foliage yeah, yeah, looks yeah. really nice. Not mixture. So this I want to look really intent. Yeah, so you're starting okay. off with your foliage. Yeah, and I'm just creating a structure. Mm -hmm. I'm not keeping any of the pine needles on the stem that goes in the water. Yes. Because that is how you cut short the life, the life of whatever you're cutting up, uh, whatever you're arranging in water. I'm going to wash my hands then. Do you need to wash your hands because you're about to get stuck all over. I know, that's why I was going to wash them. <laughs> and so what you've done is you've done, you're doing five bud vases. Yes. For the tablescape. Yeah. And what you'll do is you'll put like two stalks in one. Yep. One in one. Yep. Just mix it up. Mix it up. It doesn't need to be uniform or perfect. Like okay. for example, now I'll take some of this pinus that will also come in your kits. Again, needles off. Would you like me to remove the needles? Yes, please. How much would, would you like removed? Um, so I go yeah, to the top. Yeah, goes yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. So I oh, mean, oh, so satisfying. You can just call. Oh yeah! Wow. Wow. So this is also sold just by the bunch. So is this one going here? Um, no, I would, no, because then you too, sym too sy symmetrical. No, it's more because you need more space for the roses to go in for the neck. So here? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> I just all wet my neck. I was going to zoom in on that one. Harry, make sure you zoom in on the sniff. <laughs> it smells amazing. But it, it doesn't? Wasn't, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. The oh, sniff You can't. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm not getting in again. <laughs> 
And that's basically all you need to start your sort of structure. Right. And now we'll go in with the red berries. These are so cute. Is that what you've used in the wreath? In the wreath, well? yes. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Okay. So these are called. Um, now you want me to do the, sh the sweet thing. Oh, <laughs> you do you work want to, for? Do you want to do your job, Daniel? I was going to go to, but I thought you, you felt like I was being a bit neurotic. No. Um, so these are called Talon Long John, these little berries. Perfect. And they are very subtle. Sorry, I feel like I've taken over and I'm not... I'm not included. No, no, no. I'm not, not there. No, 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 I feel like this is where I'm like watching you work and I, I feel like this is like a bit of a lesson for me okay. because there are times when I'm like, I want to put something together, maybe yeah. with what's out in the garden and I'm like... I don't think that that's my forte. It's why okay. I always say to you that I'm like, oh, I want to do some floristry lessons with yeah. you because it's knowing the different heights and things like that that go together. Yes, but I think that's why bud vases are so easy mm. and so good for um, doing tablescapes because you can't really go wrong, okay? Because you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you also, like, yeah. I'm like a one I don't yeah. understand, it like, doesn't look very good. <laughs> I thought that looked fantastic. <laughs> and then with the Talon Long John, you can kind of break it down. So if you cut it, we'll use that one, but if you cut it sort of just above where another set of kind of berries are coming off, mm -hmm. um, you, you get, get like a spray. Yeah, you get more out of it. And then five roses. So you'll, there will be five roses in yeah. kit. Because that's enough, because you've got so much stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And also, you never want it to be too rosy. No. And also, because you work in odd numbers, mm -hmm. if it wasn't going to be one, it would have to be three. Yeah. So then, then that's just really rosy. Yeah. Whereas this is just a kind of like touch. Okay. okay. So the rose needs to be sort of slightly lower down than the, some of the top foliages, but not sort of so close you've got no stem above the rim of the bottle. Right, what would you, where would you say for this one? Yep. There? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay thank you. Pause here if you want to have a look at how one of the bud vases is, is looking. So you can get an idea of like ratio and... And that's the bud vases. Amazing. Let's start off with the runner. That's a, that a close one. <laughs> Which I never personally feel like with these types of tablescapes that we need to ever um, iron. iron. No, it just I agree. linen just looks a bit stuffy. This will all just collapse really nicely into itself. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Love that. So right, what do we go in with first? So let's do the plants first. Okay. Which one do we go with first? So yeah. do this. Yeah. Let's do the same variety. So I would usually start sort of in the middle. Yeah. And then one either side. And then once you've got everything on, mm -hmm. you can then work out the angle. So I would never have everything in, in a line like that. But we'll just move it around. Yeah. This just gave, gives you the base yeah. structure. Okay. I just feel this tablecloth is such a win. Yeah, I feel like it's such a good one to have for yeah, like yeah. everything. So if you've got yours there, yeah. yeah, and then I'll put one there, and then I probably go one sort of there, but put it closer to something else, mm -hmm. and then maybe one kind of at the end again close. So again, they these just, are literally the exact same colour yes, as that ribbon. Good. Yeah. Where would you like this one? So they just go in amongst. And then I'll just put that one there and that one here. Like it. 
really like to be positive that we have a hernia before you do it. <laughs> Will he? Yeah. Is he, is he quite basic ish? Oh my god. Is he? Oh! But that's quite mm. nice though, because it means you always have a tidy home. Well, I'm a bit of a weapon of mass destruction, so. <laughs> so are you not naturally tidy? I, my struggle is um, I like pick things up and I put them down. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know what I was really doing with that. And yeah, uh, yeah. I just kind of, I just end up picking up and moving things everywhere. Please look, because yeah. I feel like it's a bit more of a delicate thing, as long as we don't make it look like a birthday thing. Okay, I'm trying to do Like, so that, should we do it all in the skinny ones? Because oh. I don't know if these will go in, because I've packed these so tight. Well, I have had a good old tidy up. Gemma is back tomorrow. And this is where we've got to with the tablescape. I've just popped some candlesticks in there just because um, there will be candles in there, but we just didn't get to that point today. The other thing, I've made a massive mistake. I've potted the skimmier in the wrong pots and they actually need to go in a slightly bigger pot. I did think it was looking a little bit uniform um, and everything looking sort of the same height-ish. So I don't know whether I'm gonna do that now, but we're going to finish this off tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do now is try and attempt to do the tree topper myself. Um, I've got some steps in the cupboard so that is my next port of call I think. It looks amazing. It doesn't look very good from that angle, but I promise you it looks way better from there. I think you can kind of go a bit like wild with it. I'm gonna go around the other side as well and thicken that side out, but I think I'm gonna get this side a little bit thicker first, just because I feel like I've got so many left. I love it. You lot are gonna give him a big head. <laughs> He's admiring himself in the previous vlog. And I think next he's going to read through all of your lovely comments about him. I'm the worst husband of watching Lydia's videos. I think I probably watch on average three. I don't think I've ever watched a video from start to finish. Unless you're in it. Or you just scrub to the bit that you're in. <laughs> and I just quickly went onto my channel and then your video showed up and then I saw that I was in it and I was like, oh, I'll quickly watch that and I realised that I'm in it quite a lot. Yeah. So I just started watching it. The hero of the vlog. Everyone is absolutely loving you in the comments. Yeah. It's the Ali Gordon show now. It's not even my vlogging channel. This is the end. <laughs> That's quite funny. What? You got the man of yours is an absolute gem. He deserves to have his knickers folded. <laughs> yeah, because have you seen the bit where I'm folding your pants? Yeah, I saw that <laughs> and also, I, I have to say this as well. You were right about the James Bond theme tune. Oh, is it? So what I was misunderstanding was I thought you were saying that Robbie Williams did a James Bond. No, he's taking the sound bite. Yes, I misunderstood you, and actually it was. But I still wouldn't have known. Uh, Nancy Sinatra. Uh, and it was in one with Sean Connery, I believe. Because Robbie Williams, I think, did a whole album of like jazz soul, I think. Right. Where he may have done like covers. Right, got you. I'm not sure because he had like. It was after the Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, I'm just going to say this with love in my heart. Yes. We are supposed to be leaving at about seven o'clock to head to our friends. Yes. I also have another apology to, to give to you. Even though I've already said sorry for it, I have to say sorry for it again. Missing the mop parcel? No. No, it's not one you need to wear anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously today I've been doing the festive install and um, I needed some pots and I went to my greenhouse and you had tidied my greenhouse. Oh yeah. I didn't know you tidied Why my greenhouse. Apology? Well because I was obviously grumpy when I got home yesterday when you hadn't cooked dinner. And I've dropped 
clean your greenhouse instead. I forgot I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm Do sorry. To be honest, what? He did it for me, not for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming in there tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it! So you weren't even factoring that in. Well, yeah, I knew I was doing you a favour. Yeah, yeah, a favor, no, but, but I was also doing me a favour. The thing was, is that I have this really like I have a profound hatred for eating late, and. I was obviously coming back from London and I got back really late and I thought that Ali would have cooked dinner and when I walked in and he'd had a bad day. We need when, to get... To when assumption, no sorry, when expectations and reality don't align, but what, we're left with disappointment. But what we think we... And what I think you need to work on. Babe, what I think we need to do is we need to adopt what... Um, what's her, her name? Oh, she's like a, a, a really, she talks about vulnerability. What is her blooming name? I've lis listened to so many of her books. Anyway, her and her husband give each other a percentage of how much like energy they are so that they know when one of them needs to pick up the slack and the other one doesn't. Sometimes they'll, they'll both be running on empty. What, when you mean, do you mean like a combined mental, physical energy or? Yeah, so just like if you'd had a really long day in London and you're coming home and you'll be like, I'm at a 20%. I'm really tired, and if I'm like operating. The problem with that metric is, what? is we don't understand what each other's twenty percent and hundred percent are. So I would say that you communicate the extremes then. So when you're like, I'm at zero percent, and I've got nothing. But there might be times when you're like, I'm really tired. I could probably like do some washing or something. And you want to revert to saying that as a percentage rather than I'm really tired. Well, I think it gives a better physical because if I'm sat there and I'm like, well, actually, I'm okay. I'm. I'm at 80%, I can maybe pick things out, but the things, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because when we are both at like 5%, we know to be extra kind to each other in that moment, because I think that you- know the Sims? Yeah. They have little things above their heads. Yeah, yeah, we could get one of those. We could put a percentage, like a battery, yeah. on the phone above our heads, so yeah. we know what percentage- Or we could have. put it on the fridge. No, it has to be above <laughs> Colour it in. <laughs> what do you call it, a hologram? A hologram um, above your head that shows your percentage we could do. power. In fact, everyone in the world could have one. I'm also going everyone to say that you haven't commented on my trees. I've noticed one in the hallway that has not been touched. Yes, it's not finished. She's back tomorrow. I'm not looked at any of yet. Well, can you, you need to come and see. Well, I've done about as much sort of decorating as I can do for today. Now we are heading to our friends for dinner. So they've just got a new house. And my dressing room is such a mess after the shoot that I actually cannot even show you an outfit in there. So this is my outfit. I actually think I'm going to unbutton the coat because I like a little bit more space and separation. Do you want to go out the front door, Lummy? But my outfit of the day, page denim jeans, which I actually think are probably too dark for this outfit. I should have some kind of beige jeans, but I can't find any that I like. Um, Harlan Cooper trench in the ivory and sort of biscuit. Uh, boucle. Houndstooth and um, Fairfax and Faber boots, Lily silk jumper, N peel scarf, and my Rouge H Birkin 25. It's probably one of my favourites, although I just need to find some different coloured jeans, but because we're only going to the house, I don't really mind. Hello, booty. Hello. Good boys. Um, we've got eggs for. Alex and Sam, we've got them some little bubble things for the kids who will probably be in bed by the time we get there. But um, we are ready to head for our first festive evening with friends, and I am feeling very festive. <laughs> 